Hey guys, I was glad here with uh, Fall Fable 3. We're gonna continue on. Shit, shitload of stuff is happening. Map is useless, and yeah, and the goops are getting worse here and here. <coughs> Even in death will he forgive you. <coughs> What's he doing now over here? Your strength is ebbing. We can feel it. My brigade had been pinned down by the enemy until there was just me and two other men left. We retreated into a cave, but they never came after us. They just blew the entrance. See, wow, that looks passing. nice right up there. Look at. We spent three days in that cave. <clears throat> no light. No food. Just three men waiting to die. It's like they absorbed him. Totally absorbed him. The light him. in your eyes offends us. <coughs> Let it go out. Okay, the trail says. Are you blind? Are you blind yet? <laughs> There's nothing left. You're gone. <coughs> Screen broken, glitched again. No. Okay. He's still alive. The other can't be <coughs> far away. Taking a nap in the sun. Typical royalty. You have me worried there for a while. Walter. Don't worry. We'll find him. You just sit tight, my friend. Seems like we Ben survived. And there's this other lady thing. Yeah. This is getting pretty weird. Where the story is getting pretty is interesting. The music's nice. Big difference between a no uh, Fable Two and One, at least for this area, it's totally doesn't sound fable fable-ish, but it's pretty good for a desert. <coughs> Can you help them? The young one will be fine. He is strong. We need to tend to the older one, at once. Hang in there, Walter. Seems like they you concentrated cutscenes here, then instead of the rest of the game. It's kind of weird. Bear, not much cutscenes, now a lot of cutscenes. Feeling we unleashed a en you big are enemy. Good. Or, uh, My name something. is Kaelin, and you are in the city of Aurora. I have much to tell you. Walter, how is he? He is fortunate to be alive, but we have seen his condition before. We may be able to help him. <coughs> there are another of my friends here. I thought I saw in the desert a devilishly handsome soldier by the name of Ben Finn. Not dead yet, my friend. Please. Come with me. Don't worry, he's, he's a tough old nut. He'll pull through. It's so good to see you. When I was fished out of the local port and Walter and you weren't there, well, I thought it was all over. Then I realized I was being an ass, and I worked my charms to get a search party out for you. Not that Kaylin here needed much persuading. We are accustomed to misfortune. Now it is time you saw our city. Welcome to Aurora, the city of nightmares. Nightmare, no. The crawler did this. The being you fought in the desert caves, 
It appeared five years ago, bringing darkness and death. The few of us who still live have known nothing but fear since. We never know when it will come. And we cannot hope to defeat the creature and its spawn without an army. Even with someone like you by our side, Ben Finn speaks most highly of you. But you are not the first savior to come here. Please, are you gonna walk go down to our streets. <laughs> See for yourself. Then we may talk more. Go ahead. I've seen enough already. I'll check up on Walter. Explore Aurora. Huh? Where's the boy? This is one of those. I have to do the quest Welcome thing. Welcome to the sanctuary. And he's back. Excuse me, I, I'm a gassy. City of War. Uh, oh, it's totally different now. Well, not totally different. We're a different part of. We can't fast travel here, though. Shifting sands. Can't pair buy anything here, but. Go over here and see if we can buy anything, or let's see. Pair anything? Hmm. Oh, this is uh, looks like if Jasper's back. I was wondering what was the fuck was happening, man. Anyway, uh, explore. See what this sends us. Got some money. You are the one who survived the desert night. Yes. We have not had much fortune with outsiders. But as you can see, <coughs> fortune deserted us long ago. You have come to a cursed land. What are you doing here? Everybody else seems to be hiding. I am honoring the dead. My wife and my child. And I stand here because I do not fear joining them. I'm sorry. You may read their memorials if you wish. There are many elsewhere. On statues, doorways, wherever a memory will allow itself to live on. <clears throat> my wife and my daughter, you were taken from me by that which dwells in darkness. And darkness is all that is left in my life. I am thankful only that you knew little of the horror that has taken over our city since then. Reina and Balen, you are in my thoughts always. I will be with you again soon. I hear its voice still calling me. The crawler. And the darkness it brings took my parents, my two brothers, and their wives. Yet it never takes me. It delights in taunting me with their memory. It calls me a coward. But no more. I have decided to go into the desert at next dawn. I will slay the crawler, or be at one with my family. Now you know what we have suffered. But as I said before, you are not the first outsider to come here. Who was the other? His name was Logan. Oh, shit. The King of Albion. Seems your big brother's been keeping secrets. He used to go on expeditions all the time, remember? Until about four years ago. He too faced the Crawler. He saw all his soldiers killed by the darkness and nearly died himself. But he survived thanks to our care. He left with a promise. That he would return with an army and save us from the Crawler. We never saw him again. King Logan did not cause this, but he did nothing to stop it. Now I ask he's an ass. that you do what he would not. Ben Finn has told us of your quest, of your revolution. There are not many warriors left among us, but we have ships, and we are willing to fight beside you. Not because your brother wronged us, nor because we thirst for revenge. But because we want protection. We require aid if we are to survive. That is the promise you must make. 
Help us to rebuild Aurora and allow it to become a true part of your kingdom. Not a colony, not a thing to be used, but a place <coughs> with a voice in your court. Will you make this promise? That you'll rebuild Aurora and offer it a place in your kingdom. Yeah, sure. I promise. Then let us go to war. I need to change my outfit. Ooh, road to roll again. You have survived a terrible ordeal. But you will be the stronger for it. With Kaelin and the Auroran people on your side, you are finally ready to face your brother. It is time for you and Walter to gather your allies and take Bowerstone Castle. Hmm. See what? Only single chest? What is it? Blade spell. Let's get it. It's cheap. Let's uh, look around for anything useful. Like, oh, rangeland? No, can't anyway. Magic. Yeah, so this is up our magic. Seriously. I don't think that'd be it. Did I split an episode? Oh, oh, I hope I didn't. <laughs> or did I? No, I don't. I don't think I did. Did I? And never mind. I'm tired, but let's just carry on. I think it's 7:20 a.m. now. No, 21, I mean. <laughs> it just changed. Oh, there's more stuff over there. Listen to your dog's... Bar sharks? Bar oh, barks. Yeah. There is texts are very small for this game. <laughs> How is he? Is he gonna make it? I do not know. The darkness is deep within him. Few ever wake. But he's improving. I mean you're doing your thing and he's getting better, right? I do not wish to give you false hope. Perhaps it would be better if we allowed him to rest. <coughs> Don't worry, he's a, he's a tough old nut. He'll pull through. Balls to you all. You're not burying me just yet. See? I told you. Yes. Shame my first sight had to be your ugly mug. I'm sorry yeah. I left you, Walter. You did all you could. And don't think I don't know it. I told you you'd make me proud. Seems Walter's fine. Well, Good. we didn't exactly find the army we were hoping for. And I feel about a hundred years older than when we left, but we're finally ready. You've surpassed every hope I had for you. You're the king Albion needs. So come on, it's time to gather your generals and prepare for battle. You know, maybe I'll take a little nap first. Wow, look at the screen now. It's even worse. So uh, yeah. No one likes you. Logan. Logan. Weber.
All right, I've got it. I take a small group of soldiers down this route and blow up the West Barracks. It will draw their attention and open up the main route. How's that better than my idea? We will live longer than a few seconds. Oh, well, now you're just picking holes. Give it up, boy. What I want to know is what my men need to do. That's for the future king to decide. Paige knows the city best. We'll follow her plan. Fine. I only put mine forward to annoy her anyway. I see you've really matured on your travels. If you'll look at the map, we can go through the details. My ships will take you to the beach here. We can expect heavy mortar fire, but most of Logan's soldiers will be busy dealing with Paige and her men. I want to be in the thick of the smoke and the fire and the glory. If Paige takes the west route, it's only fair I take the east. Which leaves the center to us. <laughs> Less chance of getting lost. Then we're agreed. Are you sure you're up to this, Walter? Oh, don't worry about me. I may feel old and tired, but the day hasn't come yet, and I can't charge into a good old-fashioned fight. Let the battle for Albion begin! Okay. People are getting torn to shreds out there. They need our help. We need to take care of that mortar. We've already lost one ship. Kalen's could be next. Come on. Uh, he's right. It's time you led from the front. We'll follow. And we're gonna continue. This. The promise you made to Kalen is now on the wall with the others. Okay. Yeah. 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 We're gonna continue on in the next episode. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.